Everybody welcome back to Skating Dave. Um, so I've been playing around with my new Velo V13s. Uh, as you can see here, I've been playing around, changed out the frame a little bit. Um, it's shit weather, it's raining outside so I can't skate. One thing I did was exchange the frames between my shadows and the um, Velos. Um, the shadows now have a large frame on there from Velo and um, they have an anti rocker setup. That's something I wanted to try out for a bit. And I think what I immediately felt when I put on the uh, long frames instead of the medium frames this skate came with is how much more stable it is to stand on it. Normally, I have a tendency to feel this fe um, motion that I'm like want to fall back. And now I put them uh, the M size frames. Uh, the freestyle frames on my velos and I have the same feeling like I want to fall backwards because I feel it's the balance of my body is more it requires an extra extra length um, in the back now also immediately feel there's a lot more heft to the skate so that's not very good um, because that's not good for my knees and dislocation so I need to train my legs to be stronger with this weight because this is definitely heavier uh, but that extra space here in the back that's going to help me uh, balance myself better i need that um, i might in the future swap out the frames back to a freestyle frame but then an l frame instead of an elm frame going forward um, it's also a bit lighter those freestyle frames than this one with the anti rocker setup if you have the extra wheels and whatnot so one thing i noticed with my velos is that um they feel a little bit off. The reason why I felt that is the uh, frame is more or less in the middle of the boot on uh, shadows. So it's like it's quite well balanced. With the... Um, so as you can see my feet is directly underneath the frame, like in the middle of my foot. And I noticed that immediately with the shadow, with the um, velos, is that um, they're a little bit off-centered. So the frame is not completely in the middle of my feet and because of that I feel like uh, my ankles are a little bit pivoting inwards and it actually feels uncomfortable and I don't really like that feeling and that is I guess immediately my, my whole reason why I don't feel super nice on these skates is because my feet are now like, um, like this. So if these are my toes they're like this it, and my ankle is like this so it doesn't feel comfortable I don't feel like I can balance my ankles are not probably strong enough to keep them straight down uh, with the shadow <laughs> that works perfectly fine um, so I don't know I don't know yet if <coughs> if uh, these skates are something for me but there's a significant difference in few of the skates between the shadows and the velos v13s it's like day and night difference I didn't expect that it's a huge difference so I didn't know that the positioning of the frame is different per skates and uh, now I know that better in the future I will definitely look out for that um, I probably gonna stick back to my shadows and get a second pair of the USD shadows when they come out and then these ones will be just street skates or just having some big wheels on there just for cruising nothing too fancy uh, because they just don't feel very nice so far in the feet um, and that's something you don't really can see back on YouTube etc because yeah people do a review about it and then they say oh it's a good skate etc but I uh, my feet are just different so it's it feels different for sure so this is how they oh shit sorry guys very amateuristic here piece of shit is broken um, can I do that yeah so the balance feels off it just doesn't feel that great in the ankles um, it does it, it feels like I'm gonna spring uh, spring my ankle again and um, it's just not a comfortable feeling and yeah that's that's really unfortunate um, uh, the plastic is also quite flimsy let me just uh, take off the boots really quick and show you that um, the uh, yeah the plastic is definitely flimsy compared to the shadows it's just uh, it feels really cheap and uh, apparently that is how they're supposed to be but I can uh, the whole cuff I can just bend together so easy 
it, uh, it really feels really flimsy this plastic uh, same for the liner it's just it's so thin you hardly feel anything I feel the, the bottom it feels like I'm already just standing on the skates I can feel the sole plate it's just not comfortable this skate um, this is also not that uh, sturdy it's really soft plastic in my personal opinion and uh, I didn't expect it. It also all boots is squeaking and and it doesn't feel and sound like it's a great, great buy to me. Um, but then again, there's plenty of people that love these skates. They're easy to put your feet in and out. Um, they're cheap enough to just uh, play around with and yeah, have them shredded up without uh, spending too much money. But since I'm relearning to skate again, I want something that's comfortable and it also gives me the trust when I on these skates as soon as I swap between skates and stand on these ones these ones feel so much nicer they really feel comfortable a lot of people uh, don't like this uh, squeakiness because yeah you have a lot more flexibility in the skates which is weird that saying that um, the flexibility is in the upper uh, area so I can move forward much more easy and uh, but the funny thing is the feet is completely locked down because you use your foot as the liner your shoe is the liner and it's completely locked down on your ankle and front feet so it feels really comfortable my feet is form fit perfectly in the shoe so it feels very very nice much better than uh, a liner in my opinion plus you have the bedding of the shoe you have the the, 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 the whole bottom of the shoe as well so you have a big, already a big uh, shock absorber then you have this plastic shock, shock absorber here in the bottom as well on, uh, on the top of the, uh, the, uh, the shoulder plate so it gives you a lot more shock absorption plus the uh, cuffs here, the, um, the liner on the top is much thicker and sturdier quality at the same time it also feels softer in the inside than uh, these uh, these fellows um, just super flimsy and thin it's like it's it's a day and night difference you also can see how much bigger and wider the uh, this uh, this area is for the cuff on the back it's much wider it's also higher so you also get more uh, protection uh, than with the uh, fellows so you can see it's a it's a good one inch higher the plastic on the on the upper cuff um, it's just yeah it, it's a noticeable difference so um, I got them for around 130 US dollar because I got a $60 discount because uh, there was something broke on this skate and then uh, Shadow gave me a $60 discount and I repurposed that $60 on uh, the um, Grindhouse uh, website um, the, uh, the frame seems to be okay. Um, I, I bought the whole complete set, the reason for that being because I wanted to try onto rocker uh, frames and I needed new wheels and that would cost me around 60 to 70 US dollar just for one pair of new frames and a pair of new wheels. So I thought if I can buy a second pair of skates at the same time then I have a new pair of boots as well. Um, that will be perfect and have a backup skate and uh, replacement uh, parts here without having to spend a lot of money. So that's the whole reason why I bought the Velos um, because a boot only, shadow boot only are without the, well, just a frame is already 150 to 160 US dollar without and then you have no inner boots, you have no frames, no views etc. So I thought yeah I need, I need those parts now because um, um, my wheels were wearing out and I wanted to try uh, an anti-rocker frame setup instead of the freestyle uh, setup because freestyle setup is not really um, user friendly for beginners because of the grinding and it's just a different learning curve uh, higher learning curve I would say so anti-rocker will help me to do some more easier grinds um, so I wanted to have that but I didn't want to churn out a lot of money and then to buy the frames and the wheels but don't have a second pair of boots because my shadows were not as I complained in my last video not of the highest quality so if now some stuff breaks off and I don't have replacement parts I don't have a working skate so that was the whole idea get that cheap fellow boot skates out there and then um, use those as the uh, backup skates but um, they're just not very comfortable so in the end um, I'm just gonna use them for cruising uh, not, not definitely not for jumps or uh, anything uh, uh, crazy um, because they just 
don't feel really good around the ankles so far and I didn't even skate with them outdoors so but I already can feel there's uh, upward movements uh, of my feet uh, with the liner inside the plastic etc I, I it's not feeling good um, I don't have any of those movements with my ankle and my feet uh, on my shadows because it's completely locked down onto sole plate in those shoes it's I think personally is my personal preference anyway um, that was my little video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.